Okay, just wanted to show how I built this mini to medium um, uh, sled for my Triton Work Center 2000. While the Triton's an old saw, it's still quite useful, uh, reasonably accurate and repeatable, and um, for that reason I wanted to see if I could stretch out its capabilities by building this um, sled. The challenge on the Triton, of course, is that the, the miter slots, which they're not called on a Triton, but nonetheless these slots that run the um, parallel to the blade are not um, through slots. They actually terminate before the end of the table, so you can't exit the table through the slot. That limits the, the movement of any sleds that you build. Um, the alignment, too, of these slots, there's no guarantee that those slots, the two slots you can see on the outside, the slot over here and the slot here, that these slots are actually, in fact, uh, parallel through their entire length. They're reasonable but not entirely perfect. Uh, nonetheless, the sled itself, you can see here it's built, the base is built from a 9mm MDF. Um, the front and rear fences, this is just pine from a 2x4. I took, well, I had to take the time to um, uh, joint the wood and then pass it through my planer thicknesser to get it dimensioned um, so it was reliable. That was more important for the back fence the, um, the back fence needs to be uh, well dressed in terms of its dimensions so that it's a reliable piece. It needs to be square to the table and um, as flat as possible on this face here. Otherwise you'll get um, strange cutting behavior. You can see here that I have embedded a T-track which is made out of aluminium. Um, I bored that out on my router table with um, a half inch router bit. The T-Track accessories, you probably would have seen these things before. Um, I actually made this small block, it's not really a block, um, but I made this just from, a, again, a piece of um, 2x4 that I uh, drilled a hole into. And um, it locks down pretty well and gives an indication, as you can see here, of the distance from the blade. Uh, you can see here on a Triton, all the cutting is done on the left side of the blade, not on the right side. That's uh, because it's actually a circular saw that's been inverted. So the, um, the arbor and everything is reversed. Um, so for that reason, everything hangs off to the left. It's not bad. It, um, it actually works reasonably well. The scale that you can see here has been aligned to match the zero distance here, of course, is where the blade would be. So the curve for the blade um, runs along there. And this tape terminates at about 420 millimeters. You can see here, this is my Triton sliding extension table. This is a nice little unit. It's like a panel saw unit. It's a good accessory to get if you've got a Triton Work Center 2000. Um, this is the mini sliding extension table, not the maxi. The mini is a little bit um, smaller and easier to use in a confined space like my shed. Um, this, you can see here, has a measurement scale and that measurement scale shows 420 millimeters. So basically where this green scale um, finishes off, the scale underneath can be used to then measure out longer items all the way out to just over a meter. So that's not too bad. And I can use the sliding extension table fence. I can set this to whatever dimension that I want, put the item down into the table saw sled, and then I can make the cut and leave the, um, uh, leave the, the, the sliding sled static, but still use the fence on the sliding sled as a reference fence for the cut, um, if, if it needs to. So I don't need to use the small fence, I could just, or small um, guide, I could knock that out of the way and then use the larger dimensions. Um, getting the rear fence perpendicular to the blade is challenging. I'm not sure I really did it with much confidence. I think that I've done it with as much accuracy as the Triton permits. Um, it's not a table saw, so not nearly as accurate. Uh, with the sliding extension table and the fence that comes with the Triton, I'm probably able to make cuts that are certainly within half a millimeter. 
um, repeatedly. Yeah, so that's not bad. And um, everything seems to be giving square cuts as well. So, um, so that's about it for this video. I might upload some more commentary once I start using the sled in the future. Thanks very much.